It has begun. China to bar people with bad social credit from planes and trains. China said it will begin applying its so-called social credit system to flights and trains and stop people who have committed misdeeds from taking such transport for up to a year. People who would be put on the restricted lists include those who have uh, found to have committed acts like spreading false information about terrorism and causing trouble on flights, as well as those who use expired tickets or smoked on trains, according to two statements issued on the National Development and Reform Commission's website on Friday. Those found to have committed financial wrongdoings, such as employers who failed to pay social insurance or people who have failed to pay fines, would also face these restrictions, said the statements, which were dated March 2nd. The move is in line with President Xi Jinping's plan, plan to construct a social credit system based on the principle of once untrustworthy, always restricted, said one of the notices, which was signed by eight ministries, including the country's aviation regulator and the, the Supreme People's Court. If this language, if this story does not send shivers down your spine, then I put forward the possibility that you no longer have a spine at all. Maybe you've lost your backbone. If this story is not everything, everything that I've been warning about for a decade now of doing this website, this is it in a nutshell. This is where things are moving. And here it is. Once untrustworthy, always restricted. Think about that principle and how it can and will be employed on any anyone and everyone who in any way resists the status quo or goes against societal norms in the future. And we already know how the things are unfolding online in the space where programs like this one, ideas like the ones that I spread are already being targeted for censorship on sites like YouTube and Facebook and others. Can you imagine in the future, once they identify you as someone who thinks these thought crimes, well, you're untrustworthy, your social credit score will go down, you will always be restricted from accessing basic services. And here it is, the thin edge of the wedge. Now, Again, this is not new. This is not something we've never heard before. In fact, if you are a Corbett Report listener or viewer, you will have heard this many times before. As John Loth points out on Twitter, at Corbett Report called it. Yes, yes indeed I did. And many things going over the years. A couple of years ago, specifically talking about this program, this social credit program in China, Sesame Credit, China's creepy new social engineering experiment where we went over China to use big data to rate citizens in new social credit system. And if you go through that video, I hope you do. If you haven't yet before, it's more relevant than ever today. Uh, but if you go through that video, you'll see that I have the, uh, the link to the translation of the planning outline for the construction of a social credit system, which was released in 2014, where they spell out in black and white exactly what they're doing and why they are doing it. The, uh, straight from the Chai Com's mouth, a social credit system is an important comp component part of the socialist market economy system and the social governance system. Social governance. Words you'd never want to hear together. There they are. It is founded on laws, regulations, standards, and charters. It is based on a complete network covering the credit records of members of society and credit infrastructure. It is supported by the lawful application of credit information and a credit services system. Its inherent requirements are establishing the idea of a sincerity culture and carrying forward sincerity and traditional virtues. It uses encouragement to keep trust and constraints against breaking trust as incentive mechanisms. And its objective is raising the honest mentality and credit levels of the entire society. Again, you have to actually read these documents to, to understand just how utterly creepy and, and horrific these ideas really are, however much... 
any type of government will try to dress them up as something, oh, it's good for you. It will raise the mentality and virtue and sincerity and credit levels of our society. What is your credit score, citizen? Ooh, that's a bit low to be trying to take a bus, isn't it? Oh, I don't know if we'll let you in on this train with a credit score like that. Oh, you want to buy bread for your family? Hmm, might not want to post that thing to Twitter about how much you dislike the government. It is getting there. And if you think this is just about communist China, think again. A again, I've been through this before. Last year, we were talking about It Begins. Canadian government rolls out points to reward good citizens. Talking about the Carrot app. Ooh, oh, it's, isn't it so good to f reward points for healthy living? And you can get Canadian tire points or whatever as a result of taking tests where you have to answer, yes, I will get my flu shot. It's a wonderful, healthy thing for me. And I will get rewarded by points that are uh, subsidized by the Canadian government. This is the thin edge of the wedge. This is how it begins. This is how the social credit system with your score is going to be rolled out. And again, it's not even that new. I've been talking about it for literally 10 years now. Back in 2010, I first released a documentary or a podcast that uh, was recently updated to a video podcast, You Are Being Gamed, where we talked about these types of issues and the Skinner box that they are trying to insert you into, the gamification of society, and how it's all going to come down to what's your score, citizen? Where do you rate on this list? So if you are not, uh, not outraged, you are not paying attention. And it is time to spread the word about this. Raise the alarm bells before the conversation is steered towards, hmm, maybe this would be a good thing to roll out in, in Canada, in the US, in, in Japan, in other countries as well. I mean, look how effective it is in China for keeping those billion plus people in check and keeping uh, that uh, that that state under control hmm social credit it's the it's the bold new move for the 21st century unless we can stop it so with that in mind, I will, of course, put the links to all of this relevant information in the show notes. Please use it. Please spread it to others. Please ring the alarm bell. This is where we are heading. It is a nightmare future scenario that is already taking place. And it will be called conspiracy theory by those who don't know about it. So let's spread this information. Let's raise awareness of the horrific nightmare that is right around the corner that most people are sleepwalking into. James Corbett, CorbettReport.com.